System, welches sich zumindest a system that at least surveillance wise could have been thought could better. not have been developed but or thought of better than by Mr. Olive uh, if in 1984 talk about the Chinese social system, a state system that surveils and wants to control the behavior of its citizens. Chinese is still a big part of the world and it's a question how long it will take until something similar is available in Europe or is happening in Europe. So, first, cartograph uh, who lived for four years in China and he looks at the system for four years now. He wrote a brochure here from Digital Courage and will look at the Chinese monetary uh, system. Hi, I'm looking forward to the guest. Our second guest is Tilo Beicher. He talked at the Big Brother Awards from the uh, social uh, from, di from digital courage and he is also looking at data protection services from 1980s he was in uh, uh, responsible for data sa security in a, in a in a german state hello welcome and the third person you know he is also part of digital courage in part of the talk to the uh, German government and tries to create and, and wrote decision finding help for the new coalition in Germany. So what is this social credit system in China? How did you notice that subject. Um, it, the other quest, uh, other array around, I'll first answer the f first question. Um, I read about it during my time in Shanghai and got stuck to it. I such a huge construct that's planned here that wants to insert itself into all spheres of our lives and I want to know more about that and I looked more into it and now I'm sitting here and I'm allowed to talk to you. Um, to get on the level ground, um, if I were to talk, say everything that's that can, can be known, it would be ta it would take much too long. So I'll tell you in a short way how this happens. I don't have any slides because that would take too long. Um, I have a couple of notes in front of me, so if I look down, that's because I don't want to forget anything. Current, the current situation in China is that, that is wants to be from social system is that there is a lot of crime, especially uh, in the production area, and usually without having uh, usable fines. The user of the internet um, also should not uh, and it should support the uh, Xi Jinping. And the solution that's provided by the president uh, Jinping is that every uh, that every user, every person in China, should uh, should get a uh, a bonus score based on uh, uh, for their trustworthiness and creditworthiness, so that neighbors, that that your business partners, and basically all uh, uh, all people you have a relationship with can uh, check on your score. So what you have today is that there is not just one social credit system, but there are dozens of different uh, different concepts in dozens of different cities uh, that are being tried out right now. And 2014, 
Uh, this was implemented for the first time in a, in a, test, a test phase until 2020. So right now we have the situation that there are different number of different subjects, and uh, there was a test phase to 20. 20 and they are now analyzing that the different systems from different towns and we are now surprised or looking forward to see what the true solution is uh, that is supposed to be developed in the whole country the concept is uh, quite easy and it's all the question is how we much can we trust a person we collect all data of that person all available data we can they can get offline behavior online behavior um, especially the online behavior how how you visit Taobao, the Chinese equivalent of each eBay, chat, chat, where GPS data from smartphones are collected, the memberships, apps, everything that's available. And along the way, there is uh, significant data protection laws in China. However, they are usually not enforced in that much. So that's not, uh, not something anybody cares about. Offline behavior, uh, government agencies, all data is collected in a quite large cloud. All data about every person. And in addition, new developments are used. Video surveillance, for example, speech recognition, face recognition, and even gait recognition software. All, all data is used to collect data and connect that data with a specific person. Rubbish, care, um, driving too fast, because we want to know which person perpetrates a specific act. All data is collected in real time and it's and an, an algorithm we basically know nothing about analyzed and there is behavior that's desired and we have undesired behavior desired behavior for example taking care of your parents or uh, uh, have uh, participated in the society, uh, they all lead to plus points. But however, there are also negative points if you don't stick to laws um, and similar. Th that leads to negative points. They all are put on a digital account for everybody. Then, if you have a very high state, country state, then you have privileges. For example, a free uh, card for the library, you have different, no, uh, you don't have to pay down payments for something. If you have a low point state, there are significant sanctions that are put on to you. You get no first class tickets in the train and uh, take, have to take the wood class and so, so on. And it gets worse and worse. So at the end, you can't travel at all. You don't get permission to visit abroad. You can't buy train ticket, uh, flight tickets, plane tickets. And and even your own children might not be allowed to visit schools anymore or certain yeah uh, so the aim of that is that the people or the citizens are re-educated towards a better behavior I want to share a couple of criticism. There's a couple of technical difficulties with the system. I don't know enough technically and it would uh, be too much for this talk. But there's social problems. There's a 
difficulties for the management is social and ethical problems are following. It should promote good behavior. Who decides what good behavior is? And already we have a problem here. The social credit system currently there are several rounds. They are officially supported by Tencent, Alibaba, the tech companies, but only officially. And officially, the Com Communist Party reserves the right to change things in the system, even retrospectively. So, un uh, un wanted behavior can be uh, changed. If the, the Communistic Party wants to change something as un uh, or un unwanted behavior, then today you're still going to get punished yesterday for their behavior yesterday. Tomorrow, things be uh, behavior is going to get punished, even though today it's absolutely legal. This whole thing uh, is the, the persecution of minorities, uh, whether that be homosexuals or other minorities, are being done through this. And this is something that we are focusing on. Also, the algorithm is being pushed. The Communistic Party and all the providers, all the Everybody's, uh, they say that everybody's responsible for their own behavior. Behave accordingly and then you have nothing to fear. This is also something that uh, is debatable because the system is made by humans and, and humans are hu you, uh, adjusting the system. Another point is solidarity. Human behavior, um, social con uh, context, everything is being lost because people are not acting because out of, out of a community because they are only acting to gain points. So the moral uh, muscle is being lost. And if others are taking away the rational, and this makes this really difficult, if the, uh, the system is once being stopped, then we don't even have a codex for how to act. So this is a challenge for the management. I'm soon finished. So it's about uh, preventing misuse so that those who are uh, managing the system, they set it up so that it's um, acceptable. Um, and also hacker um, attacks also have to be dealt with. This is a completely new uh, law basis, uh, legal basis has to be put forth for this to be transparent. This is also a big problem. This algorithm is absolutely not transparent. People don't know why they have the current score that they have. So in this case, this context, we have some things that we have to talk about. Oh, I just want to recommend uh, shortly a video. I know that I've mentioned a lot of things, but by Antonia Maidi from the University of Duisburg, she was here three years ago. A video, uh, she done a video about the social credit system. She talked about this in length. So that's a recommendation. Or if someone's more into reading, this small brochure here that I've written with, re uh, with journalistic uh, support. I want to recommend that. Thanks. So far, 
So, thank you. This sounds very scary. You said that in China, so this is uh, this is uh, so it's happening in China. So, is there anything like a um, grassroots movement against that? So, uh, no, there's nothing as as powerful that it could change things actually, because the unhappiness in in the people it's it's there. A lot of people are very unhappy. It's it's been there for quite a while. There are hundreds every day, uh, hundreds of demonstrations every day, protests every day. Uh, um, about that, but um, most of them we don't even see here of this this protest. But so the people are un unhappy about that. But everything is, is so will be destroyed by the uh, by the by the government. So social credit systems. This uh, this term was quite confusing for me because it sounds good and social sounds good. Credits is okay. Does it, does it is it the same idea with a bo with uh, um, uh, cre credit worthiness systems in Germany? So we have this credit worthiness uh, credit worthiness systems like Schufa or others. So what's the difference between these German uh, credit worthiness systems and the social credit systems in China? So there are similar a lot of things that are just similar, but there are also a couple of differences. So and the differences are important here. So but first of all, I need a information there. So I was in, uh, in Shanghai in 2015 um, um, on invitation of the Friedrich Ebert Stiften, and I was invited to talk about Schufa and about other credit worthiness systems um, to talk about them and make a make comparison uh, to the Chinese systems there. And in particular, uh, in can there be, may, can we get exceptions for a system uh, in China, for a system that's accepted in Germany? So I got a couple of insights in, into, into the ch Chinese system. So what's getting published is uh, it's quite different uh, to what what has been uh, made available to me in China there and information. So I was able to look into a couple of things, but uh, it was next to impossible to to get uh, uh, to get some hard facts there, some details there. There's one huge difference, which and and uh, so we saw this in the the talks, the the uh, channels. So the so I was talking a lot about uh, citizen citizen rights and people's rights, and uh, there was no no feedback, no. Uh, um, no feedback from uh, there as well. So no one reacted on that. So there are lots of uh, people's rights worldwide, like privacy, uh, data protection, the U U U European Charter of Fundamental Rights, and um, similar, similar basic uh, fundamental rights. And these fundamental rights, um, you can you can sue for that. You can go to a court and demand that uh, fundamental rights are that your fundamental rights are being kept. And so, well, in general, this is possible in China. So, for example, there's uh, China also has data protection laws, which are getting uh, waiting text, but, but they are not checked against, uh, there are not uh, checks and balances when the police use them. And in particular, there are not be, there are not no checks and balances if uh, um, the um, Communist Party is, uh, is, is, uh, um, um, is uh, looking into pri uh, private data there. So, so there's an absolute taboo in uh, limiting the, um, the, the the capabilities of the Communist Party into that data. So, um, so we have also we uh, also something that's in our in, in our fundamental rights is that data that's only allowed to use data for some particular defined purpose, and it's not allowed to use them any uh, for any other purposes. Except there is a, uh, there's some legal foundation for that, some explicit legal foundation to use data in other ways, and this is something. That, um, so, for example, if if uh, credit credit uh, credit data, um, consumed data, tra uh, um, traffic behavioral data, um, limits the the exchange there to, towards the police, and so. 
So China has this general idea that it's that this uh, binding to a certain purpose does not need to happen. So, for example, the uh, the German uh, the, the, the German High Court, the European uh, the, the European High Court um, are pretty much behind this uh, uh, in Germany and in Europe um, about not breaking those. But this kind of so this transparency that we have here and that these courts demand. That, so that uh, um, so that uh, citizens in Germany in Europe can see can understand how their data is being used. So I think that there's a huge difference between how we handle these databases and uh, China handles those. But what happens in Europe, in Germany as well, is that we have artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, um, we have these algorithms, and uh, this changed a lot of things. So the European uh, European High Court made a decision uh, regard to Schufa, and the Schufa, the German Schufa, is allowed to um, to uh, to treat their algorithm, their weights as trade secret, which means that um, uh, that uh, that data protection authority authorities and uh, um, regulation authorities uh, were not even able to look into the algorithms, into this course but from Schufa and um, audit them due to that. So whether this uh, this will change in the future, we'll see. So the European Commission made a proposition for, a, for an AI, artificial intelligence um, uh, set of rules that uh, that with the scoring uh, uh, with the scoring methods is being used and they um, demand that transparency is being created uh, for example in artificial intelligence in advertising which is considered less uh, 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 um, less pervasive than, for example, using artificial AI at police or at, at, uh, at credit scoring, and so this, which is a quite a central point uh, here in this uh, the set of relations. So um, the so all algorithms, all uh, parts where artificial intelligence is being used and where it has existential um, the consequences for for people. Um, which is what happens a lot in China here, is uh, so, so that the ex ex extension of the threat of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the existential impact there. So, um, for example, with Schufa score in, uh, so, uh, um, in Germany, so, and so if you have a bad uh, Schufa score and it is not uh, transparent to you, so you are not getting a mobile plan, you are not getting a job, you are not getting uh, credits, you can't uh, shop online. So there are a lot of impact, there are a lot of consequences that a bad Schufa score can have in Germany. So, so this is a big problem in Germany as well. And in, 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 uh, in Europe, in Germany, lots of uh, um, uh, um, so lots of uh, organizations, police organizations um, and uh, intelligence services um, uh, want to have a look at this data. They want to get this uh, the, all, of it, all of this data, and which is a lot more than it's actually being allowed right now. So, um, so, um, so in, in Poland, for example, um, uh, the, um, the data from the, uh, the economic life of people is being used, but in, in addition, uh, um, uh, internet activities are used, and this is um, and this is used to uh, to estimate the the credit worthiness of people uh, of people in Poland, which is not even allowed in in Germany, and uh, for, uh, uh, vice versa. Uh, Schufa is uh, allowed to look at uh, the play uh, the place where you live and your uh, your um, local environment. So if, if all of your neighbors are considered poor, you are also considered to have a low credit credit worthiness uh, there. This also has the consequence that when I was living in a different area, I had a very bad score at the Schufa. This changed now after I moved into the inner city in Kiel. This shows that the problem is still existent, the problem of transparency and we are really have, uh, in a new situation because companies like uh, Schufa and Credit Reform and many others, Universum, all these bonity creditworthiness companies, they uh, are looking for all kinds of data. And the Schufa, for example, is very famous for 
that they use data from illegitimate sources. There was public uh, resistance, and that's not really existent in China. This is actually important to have not have such big consequences from these uh, algorithms and stop that. Thank you. This was a big insight. In, well, in Germany here, it's not that uh, credit worthiness, not uh, personal data is being used, not directly private data. But we also have other kinds of uh, surveillance, like from, uh, for example, the cameras at the Berliner train station Südkreuz all kinds of surveillance. What's it possible or impossible for this Chinese surveillance system for in a whole or in parts to have this in Germany? I hope that this is not possible. We are all hoping that this is not possible. There's a lot of people in Germany they have no problem that everybody else is being uh, surveilled. This is uh, not clear to many that they, uh, they might also be surveilled. I find it interesting on a psychological faculty how people, why people uh, let this do to themselves. Uh, how, how people get this attitude that uh, they say that uh, it's right that other people are being shamed or, or put down. When I had a seminar, I said, well, we want that uh, before in front of a kindergarten, uh, more uh, traffic cameras should be put up. Whether and uh, people don't realize that they are the ones that drive too fast to bring their children to the kindergarten. You, we should uh, make uh, think about how can we bring our sick neighbors to to fight for freedom. I, I don't. Um, I don't want to become grown up, so I'm like a grown up. I don't want something bad. I don't want uh, my fingerprints to be taken. I don't want to be in a creditworthiness system. And I don't want to take part in that. And when people realize that this is a political demand that we need to try to enforce, and I can only enforce that when I uh, uh, talk to my MPs, if I help them, if I support them, and we need to put pressure, uh, put them under pressure. And I simply have to discuss with them. Because once again, our, uh, one of uh, your politicians uh, says we want to do more surveillance, more sec safety, security. I, for example, found out that most of the most of the things that in the last 30 years, I work in the sector of security, and, and there have been ridiculous demands. They just want a, a security theater. This only works uh, during campaigns. And it's good that we are in one of the safest uh, countries in the world. But what, uh, when it's really about the real safety, for example, uh, departments of health, so that we give them enough resources so they can fight the pandemic, we have a lot to do uh, that things that are really simple things. Uh, the, for example, we, we try, uh, we th they think that we can put cameras everywhere and charge a lot of m money. 
and uh, put uh, uh, tax dollars into private hands, but uh, the necessary IT and a proper uh, concept and, for example, uh, the proper things are not done and that's more complicated. And I think we need to think how can we act politically the, to organize. I want to work on that. Digital Courage is an organization and if I don't have time for that, uh, to do a different job, then I need to support it. But this doesn't stop me at least once a month to do something that's politically correct. To go to a, an event with my uh, to talk to my IP MPs, to listen, and also to get involved. Thank you, Palu. Um, I would like to forward to the chat where there are a lot of questions about China and the social scoring system. Okay, first of all, really interesting talk. Most of us are really interested, so there are a lot of questions. How strong are the results or so as a scoring system on non-Chinese organizations, companies, uh, or universities. Um, all individuals and companies who exist in the People's Republic of China are uh, are, are traced by this. So for a long time, nobody talked about whether non-Chinese people would also get a point system or should also get a point system and also sanctioned and nowadays there is a decision yes of course everybody who comes to china is part of the system and that's also true for companies what about chinese people who are abroad as far as i know um, they are only covered or in, injected by that when data can be collected within the People's Republic of China. But to, if you want to travel abroad, that's also part of the credit store. So it's quite hard to collect data abroad by secret service and so on, but all data that is available is used. And as long as you are in China, it's an important question whether you're allowed to travel abroad. Sometimes even travels within China are a question of whether there's a sufficient score. How is that accepted by the Chinese people? Um, in the beginning, there was no data about that. Nobody talked about it. And then people noticed that around 80% of the people in China approved of it. And I don't know how many people are part of the system and how many people are uh, were asked. There was a study about that, and she also said that people who are in the system who perhaps are not very truthful because they know if they talk truthfully they get negative points so are there movements against the credit, uh, social credit storing yes there are people who want to move against it there are people on blacklists who uh, there are people on blacklists and they want to try to work against it because before people who are on the blacklist are never get down. Yeah, and 
das ist tatsächlich eine so, Frage. So to get, uh, to, to get removed from that list, um, so it, um, it's quite difficult. difficult. So is there a possibility to, uh, next question, is there a possibility to hack to or to, to buy people to get uh, to get from this bad squad? So there's another question that management has to look into. So there have been some Newswire articles that there have been a couple of scandals where uh, at the corresponding police organizations uh, that uh, that there have been some cases of corruption that people paid money to distribute uh, uh, to distribute um, power in different so this is something that ma uh, the management has to look into that so are there information how the uh, the uh, the people working at the companies implementing these course are thinking about this so I know that from a few uh, people, um, very high in the management chain, that say this is this is a um, uh, this is f we're doing this for the people, and so if the people knows um, uh, who is who they are talking, who everybody is talking to, and how they work with, this will improve our society. So this will have positive impact on the society. But many of those are so there are quite a couple of people who are not hired to work on that. One for reasons. So, um, if you're looking at this, uh, you say there are quite a, quite about a couple of cons to the system. But do we have any pros here? So, I want to add something to the acceptance in the Chinese people. So, so in this discussion on uh, on the Chinese people, so these these have been uh, uh, just as officials, uh, professors at the panels. So they always tell me that that you. For folks in Germany, you have a completely different culture. You have this uh, this fundamental rights and uh, and Aufklärung, and uh, but we have Confucius, so we are we are much uh, much uh, collective Christian, and you are much more individual, uh, much more individualism. So so uh, so they say that people in Europe uh, stick to the rules uh, um, voluntarily, whereas we in China we have to really surveil people to make sure they stick. To the rules. So, in whether this is true or not, it's very hard to check, of course, especially since no one is giving Chinese people to uh, this amount of freedom, and the um, demand for freedom, the, the desire to have freedom, is much might be it's much, much harder to monitor in China. So it's quite exciting to see how the Chinese people is um, is is uh, is uh, processing this data and looking at the systemic management of the of their people in Hong Kong. Exciting in a negative sense. Um, so, so, uh, so it's uh, exciting to see how they build this uh, to, uh, up in Hong Kong as well, so that the um, people in Hong Kong, the citizens of Hong Kong, um, how they how they uh, they will cope with these new worlds, new set of surveillance. So another question: Is it like too far that you can uh, that you can have a look at your own score? Or um, is it is the score uh, secret? So yes, so it's possible to uh, to have a look at at your score. It's even uh, uh, have to look at the at the score of the, the current day. The problem is that everybody else can do that, and so with companies you can may understand this the score of a, of, of a uh, of a company. So you can check whether this uh, so again, as a as a customer use you can uh, it makes sense to check whether a, a company is is, uh, is valid or trustworthy, but with individuals, with people, this is quite a can be quite a problem. Um, so, because if you see that someone has a bad score, and that person doesn't necessarily be uh, it doesn't necessarily uh, be the fault of that people. So, this is actually a problem. So, a big problem is where. Uh, um, where um, um, people working for German companies, German, uh, German citizens, um, uh, uh, um, have that uh, have that course. So, do, uh, Collier, do you know whether there has been any um, analysis of uh, how uh, how people working for German companies are working here? Do German companies accept these law in firma and accept that their um, uh, uh, their employees are being tracked there? Or is there uh, some resistance from these German companies there? So, what, what is important? Uh, um, so it, would, it, it should be important for German companies what happens uh, to their employees because they they are liable for the well-being and the, the safety and security of their companies. Yes, so it is. A, 
It is indeed the case that German companies, who are, especially those who are there for quite a way, for quite a while now, um, are, well, have to. Well, they they are lose their license to work uh, to uh, to uh, to um, to um, uh, the, uh, to. Um, to be in companies, so uh, even new companies uh, starting uh, starting in China say this is such a such a uh, huge market, and we just have to be there. So we have to stick this to these rules, and we have to agree to these rules, whether we think they are a good idea or not, or whether they would be legal in Germany or not. So this is a difficult question for these companies. What, what difference does this make uh, which country you come from? Uh, Germans, for example, differently requested than Americans. I don't have any information on that. How is this about party uh, representatives? or a higher positions in government, are they also getting given a score? This is a good question. We don't know, for example, whether Xi Jinping also has a score. Of course, if something's asked, uh, it's always being said that we are um, of the folk of the people, but I don't know whether uh, they have a, or part of the party representatives have a score. It should actually be the case. Um, so about the party membership, it's pretty clear uh, how this is being handled. We don't know for sure, but a, a person being a party member gives a lot of positive points and un, uh, expect Foreign unwanted behavior is also very much covered, uh, which was, for example, uh, with the tennis player that we had right now, that was um, also part of international debate. And so this is also uh, being corrected uh, by the algorithm so that our party members and representatives get away with it easily. So this will also mean that the score is not being not possible to be requested by these people. This is also already an expression. I did not try to request a score. It's also possible that not all scores are possible to be requested, but it's possible that not all points are being shared. So that uh, you already get a bonus right from the start. Are party members more careful to get more points? Is this a possibility? I think in, in single que uh, 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 cases, yes. There have been several interviews by people who said that we are careful to keep the points and we all look out for each other to uh, behave a certain, uh, the, accordingly. But of course, there are single cases. I don't think that this, uh, the mor morals and uh, it, it, that it can replace good uh, education. So I'm sorry, but this uh, so this discussion is very interesting. But we have to cut it short. Uh, uh, thank you a lot. I hope that listening and the discussing was uh, fun. So thank you for your support with the questions and bye till next time. Thank you. Bye.